now let's get into vert hash i feel like this is a, a lot of the reason why a lot of you people are here um so vert hash is our next mining algorithm and a lot of people may be like well dude you just you just forked why are you doing another one it's because we understand that wherever there is a profit incentive for people to make specialized hardware um people are going to do it you know it just it, it and last time uh layer two rev two lasted about two to three years um rev three we're not really going to take a chance on being caught off guard with another ASIC or something like that. So we, we had already started the process of uh, getting vert hash built. Um, but now we are, um, we, we got layer two rev three is done complete. That fork is complete. Now we're going straight into vert hash. Um, so uh, we're continuously making iterations on the design and the proof of concept implementation into the Vertcoin core build running on the fork test net between our developers. Um, and we wanted to ensure stability. So that's, that goes back to kind of what we we're talking about with the foundation. You know, we're want, we want to make sure every T is crossed, every I is dotted before we even allow this onto the wider test net. Cause we've, we've, we've tried some ideas and we've let it run for a little while and then it ended up breaking something. And so we had to go back and tinker with that just a little bit more. Um, but some of the other features, not only does, I mean, this is a complete overhaul. It's not just a little tweak, kind of like layer two rev three. That was a tweak of the old algorithm of rev two. This is a complete overhaul. This is top to bottom, soup to nuts. Everything is getting redone and it's getting redone with the idea that FPGAs and a lot of other new uh, graphics cards and ASICs and stuff of that nature, there's new hardware coming out that are much faster, much quicker to be able to, uh, to uh, I guess, be more efficient with these algorithms. So what we're doing is we're taking a look at that hardware and we're trying to future proof for that. We always want the major advantage per se to be on a graphics card, a consumer everyday piece of hardware, not something specialized like an FPGA or an ASIC. Um, we want the GPU to always be the king when it comes to mining on Vercoin. So one of the things that we had to tweak is we had this idea of kind of how we could do that and how we could circumvent some of that new RAM that's coming out on FPGAs and stuff of that nature. Uh, but that roadblock that we were talking about in April really dealt with SPV wallets. So one of the kind of key tenants behind Verthash is that um, we want to use the headers inside of the blocks. And I hope to God I'm not butchering this because I am in no way, shape or form a full on developer. Um, I am, you know, the, the, the marketing media guy who I'm learning as I go. But from what I've observed, we're basically trying to use the headers inside of the blocks in order to validate the blocks. And this is also something that we're trying to do in order to stop things like 300 or four or 500 block reorgs. Um, so there's some tinkering around with that. But the way that we were originally going to go about doing that with using the entire blockchain, the full block of data needed to be validated, that would really cripple SPV wallets. So that is things like Electrium and your very, your light wallets and stuff of that nature. And, and we thought that the security benefit to that, you know, that would basically just leave us with core wallet and you know, it'd be really secure. It would be really future proof and things of that nature, but you use, you'd lose a lot of functionality like mobile wallets and things of that nature. So with everything in this space and, and really in life, it's a give and take. You got to, you know, bring back, you know, you got to change a little bit of your design in order to make sure things like P2 pool, P, uh, you know, pool mining in general, and then uh, SPV wallets like Electrum, those are all still going to be able to be used in, with the vert hash algorithm. Um, so once we've established that, which we have, it seems like we have uh, nailed down our final design. We're now doing some internal testing and we're also doing a lot of, um, I guess wargaming is, a, a, I guess, the best way to go about it. Every iteration of the design that we've had with vert hash, we've basically gone through everything that we can think of and we will take a week, two weeks of just thinking and throwing stuff at it. Like, will this cause a problem? Will this break? Because at the end of the day, if we release this out into the wild and it breaks or it breaks two months afterwards, that is a huge PR problem. Not only that, but also it's a huge security problem. At the end of the day, the whole purpose around blockchain is it's supposed to be secure. So we wanted to make sure that every aspect of the design that we're doing with Vert Hash is foolproof and it's you know and it's going to work. 
So um, we, I know right now I and a few of the other developers, we have some core wallets that are in beta that we're testing right now, the different changes. Um, so we're making adjustments on that. We're hoping here within, you know, don't ever take take this with a grain of salt. We're hoping within the next month or so that we're going to be able to start pushing this out on to the test net. But if anything comes up, if anything changes, obviously that's going to be pushed out because at the end of the day, security is our number one priority. We want to make sure that when it's done, it's done right. Um, and right now, there's no threat necessarily to layer two rev three, vert hash or nice hash. They can't, you know, 51% attack the system right now, which is one of the big reasons why we jumped on to layer two rev three was to knock those ASICs off. So right now, there's not any alarms going off. So we have a little bit more time in order to deal with the development process. But um, I know that our GPU dev, um, who is an outside dev, because really when it comes to GPU miners, there's very, very, very few people who can actually build those and build them to quality. Um, so uh, we have an outside dev who is working with our team directly to build the GPU miners and the GPU miners are going to be for uh, AMD and it's also going to be for Nvidia so they're both going to be coming out at the exact same time they both should be ready by the time this gets out on the test net so you don't have to worry about oh if I have an AMD card I'm not going to be able to participate because you know two years ago vert hat or vertcoin was all about Nvidia and it took them forever to get an AMD miner out no our goal is to make sure that both of those cards are completely supported uh, from top to bottom when we get this out on the test net. This is another reason why um, you know these big donations that we've gotten have been so beneficial because it's really expensive to get this work done. Uh, that's one of the downsides to there being so few people who can do it is that they can demand a pretty good premium uh, to do it and to and you know to then make it open source because that's one of the processes is when we are getting it done and then normally what a GPU miner developer will do is they'll make it closed source. They won't open it up to the general public and they'll put a dev fee on there. So that's how they make their money. So in this case, we're kind of essentially paying the developer to do all of this work, to not put a dev fee on the miners and to also make it open source. Now you'll probably still have some like team red miners and CC miner and uh, you know, um, a, a few of the other miners, they're probably going to make their own iteration of this. But right now, they can't because they don't have the inner workings with the algorithm of itself. So, um, like I said, all that's getting worked on, that's getting uh, done as soon as this becomes available for the test net. Um, it won't even be a deer in a vert coin talk. I'm just going to, we're going to push it out um, to all of our social channels. I'm going to hop on here and do a live talk, Q&A talk. If anybody's having any questions or anything of that nature on how to get this all set up, then I'll be here to help support you on that. Um, but just know that our funds are secured in order to be able to facilitate the development of the GPU miners and the rest of the vert hash mining or rest of the vert hash R and D. We should be set as far as funds go. Um, but um, you know, don't don't you know if you want to continue to donate to the dev fund, please, because there's other things that we're going to be doing down the road. Um, this isn't the end of the road necessarily. So that's it on vert hash.